It can be overwhelming to choose among the hundreds, if not thousands of possible VPS providers out there. To help you find the one that works best for you, we put together a number of extensive benchmarks to guide you through finding the one that works best for your WordPress hosting requirements. In this video, we'll cover five of the most popular, DigitalOcean, Amazon Web Services or AWS, Google Cloud, Linode, and Vulture. First, let's start with an overview of each provider and how easy each service is to get up and running on Spinup WP. DigitalOcean's target audience has always been developers. They've taken the relatively complex process of deploying servers to the cloud and simplified the entire process. Their UI is beautifully designed and cloud servers can be deployed within minutes. Pricing has always been transparent and you know what cost you'll be paying each month upfront. In many ways, DigitalOcean is much like Stripe for online payments who are renowned for their user experience, docs, and API. For those reasons, it was a no-brainer that DigitalOcean would be the first server provider that Spinup WP supports out of the box. This makes spinning up DigitalOcean servers via Spinup WP super simple. Once you've added your DigitalOcean API credentials, just select the server size and region and Spinup WP handles the rest without you having to leave the Spinup WP control panel. AWS provides a complete spectrum of cloud services, over 165 at the time of this video, which are all managed via their AWS console. Unlike the other providers, AWS isn't designed with simplicity in mind and the AWS console can be an overwhelming experience. Pricing is also a bit more obscure as services are billed by the hour or usage depending on the service. The fact that AWS has both a certification program and a pricing calculator should give you an idea of the complexity involved. In the AWS ecosystem, virtual servers are known as Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances and require quite a bit of additional configuration to get up and running. Enter Amazon LightSail, which can be considered a friendly UI wrapper around some of their more commonly used services. Amazon LightSail makes it super simple to deploy cloud servers similar to DigitalOcean. Pricing is also simplified, allowing you to see the monthly cost for each server. Adding an Amazon LightSail instance to spin up WP isn't quite as streamlined as DigitalOcean. You need to first provision an instance via Amazon LightSail, then you can provide the IP address and SSH login credentials to spin up WP to finish setting up the server. In fact, all providers other than DigitalOcean are added to spin up WP this way, and we have easy to follow guides that outline the process for each provider. Check out the links in the description. Google Cloud is similar to AWS in the fact that they offer a full range of cloud products. Although Google Cloud isn't as straightforward as either DigitalOcean or Amazon LightSail, it is more user-friendly than deploying AWS EC2 instances. However, where Google Cloud falls short is their pricing. Not only is the pricing on Google Cloud much higher than other services, but it's also less transparent. You'll need to rely on the price estimate when deploying a VM instance. Like DigitalOcean, Linode is aimed at developers looking to simplify their cloud infrastructure. Linode hit the market a few years before DigitalOcean and gained a strong following, likely due to little competition and its excellent resources and guides. However, their control panel didn't receive much love over the years, and it quickly fell behind DigitalOcean in terms of design and ease of use. Over the last few years, they've slowly rolled out their newer, more modern cloud manager, but it's still somewhat behind DigitalOcean. That said, Linode is still a great provider, offering reasonably priced servers and transparent pricing. Just don't expect the same level of polish as DigitalOcean when navigating their cloud manager.
Vulture is a relatively new VPS provider compared to the competition, but they've become a popular option over the last few years. Their control panel is on par with DigitalOcean and their high frequency compute instances are excellent considering their price to performance. More on that to come. To benchmark the previously mentioned server provider performance, we've provisioned a server on each provider. As we've used SpinUp WP, all five servers will be tuned for WordPress and all are running the same server stack. So now let's break down some metrics. For this example, we've set up a single site on each server, which will be a clean install of WordPress running over HTTPS. DNS for all five sites is hosted on Cloudflare with proxying disabled. The default PHP OP cache settings are in use and a persistent object cache is configured. Each was performed five times and the average result of all five tests used for comparison. We've used Loader to perform the benchmarks, which sends requests from North Virginia. All of our test servers are located in US East data centers, excluding North Virginia, which should create unbiased results. This test simulated a burst of traffic hitting the site's homepage when full page caching is enabled. The cache has been pre-warmed, meaning all requests will hit a cached version. We'll send 50,000 clients to each site over a 30 second period and measure the average response time, lower being better, with DigitalOcean emerging as the winner. This test simulates a more sustained load with page caching disabled, which will put much more strain on the server because Nginx, PHP, and MySQL will all be fighting for server resources. We'll send 10,000 clients to each site over a five minute period and measure the average response time again lower is better. Google Cloud leads the pack followed by Amazon LightSail, DigitalOcean, Vulture, and finally Linode. The response times are much higher this time, which is to be expected as every request is having to query the database and render the page in PHP before it's sent to the client. Linode response times were much slower than the other providers, so we re-performed the benchmarks the following day. However, the results were similar. If hosting sites where page caching isn't possible, think dynamic WordPress sites such as BuddyPress or WooCommerce, we would recommend using a CPU optimized server. As we've seen above, handling an uncached request is much more demanding when it comes to server resources due to the number of moving parts involved when handling an incoming request. CPU optimized servers use high performance hardware, meaning they're able to handle requests more quickly. All of the previously mentioned providers offer a CPU optimized server except for Amazon LightSail. However, AWS EC2 does have CPU optimized servers available, so we'll be comparing those in place of Amazon LightSail. I've selected the following servers for comparison. We're using the same test we did for uncached performance, which sends 10,000 clients to each site over five minutes and measures the average response time. Again, lower is better. In this case, we see Vulture is at the front of the pack with Google Cloud trailing at the end. And that's it. We know that sifting through the tons of server hosting options out there today can be cumbersome, but hopefully this walkthrough has helped point you in the right direction for the type of hosting that best fits you while saving you time in the process. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, SpinUpWP makes managing any of these servers endlessly easier. So feel free to head on over to spinupwp.com and spin up your first server free for seven days. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.